too fancy. I'm just just going along and wiring the um, outsides of the spirals, hold it together. Sometimes I don't even wire these together, I just lay them in there, but I'm being just a little, little bit more high tech here. This is the way it was done on the original Monitude boilers, pulled together this way. Once this is in place, Things really aren't going to fall apart. Gravity's going to hold it together. This boiler is designed to be easy to service, to take apart. So when you do take it apart, you should just be able to lift it out. So we'll go ahead and get this one wired here. We've got nice air space between. You can see light through. It's going to work really well. All right, I'll finish that up and we'll show it. All done, and um, this is uh, tacking up pretty good. We'll work on that in a while. Sets up good. Anyway, so this is how that looks. You can see now there's just a little bit of airspace between these coils, which is good. And there's plenty of airspace in through here, a quarter inch all around these tubes. So it's going to work real well. All right, so what's in the dump valve? Basically, it's a quarter fitting. It's been machined to accept a ball, so it's a nice tight fit. And then that's going to go in here. Taps in there. You can see that. And then what we've got. We've got this, the spring. We've got a stainless 3 8 rod. And that's going to bear on that. I'm just going to hand tighten it. And then you can adjust it for the right pressure. And then when we get this all together, you can duct this dump valve off of the stack, on the, run it on the outside of the stack, or run it to hot water heat around your house, whatever you want to do with it. But that's our pressure control. It's kind of crude, but it's very simple, very reliable. The boiler won't get deranged, go haywire on you. It really protects against any kind of overpressure to the, the engine. So again, our safety valve will go here. This is our dump valve. So that's how that works. I'll probably just make I'll probably just make these up for people that want them. It's easier for me to do it. Okay, that's that. This is the uh, little circuit for the water control. It's actually got a delay circuit in it, so we can fill about three seconds beyond full. So once it gets here, it'll fill. Yeah, you know you can adjust this. So. If you wanted to fill one or two seconds longer, what you'll do is you'll always end up having a little bit of water in these bottom spiral coils. So we're going to be using this area to evaporate and this area to turn to steam. We don't really want to superheat um, the steam. 
not with these these type of engines simple engines superheat is great if you're going to run compounds or triple compounds but not not for the simple engine all right so all you're trying to do is get this uh, furnace cement packed in here tight It'll basically hold these fire bricks together it sets up real hard and it actually uh, cures even better once you fire it it's real nice to work with it's kind of like a soft clay but it's designed for high heat you probably could use mortar you might run into problems you could always touch it up, but I think this stuff is great. You can be as pretty as you want about it. But basically we're just after function with this little video. And you can always do what you want. So I'm just gonna pack it in. You can always come back later and touch it up with furnace cement. This stuff keeps real nice. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm just going to do that all the way around. make a mess it actually chips off later you can take care of it later I'll go ahead this is a pretty important part here I want to get this part done because if you don't you're gonna have fire coming out it scares people so you want to get it all sealed up you want to keep the fire inside I let the um, liquid nails set up about, I don't know, an hour? I could let it go overnight, I was just in a hurry. To get this video made today. So. Probably not as set up as it could be. All right, so that, just work it all the way around. On the inside, the bricks are actually um, pretty tight as far as being lined up on the inside, so you don't have to do anything on the inside. You're mainly concerned with airtight on the outside. Now there's a little bit of a, a gap, you can see, between this brick and the coil. So we're gonna fill that with sheet metal. We've got the height here, these hinges, so we're just going to put a little sheet metal in there to fill that gap so fire doesn't come out there, and we'll be uh, done with this. It's cut and put in place. We'll bed it in with a little furnace cement and get this, get this brick up there, and this part will be done. So that's how that looks. All right, there we go. I'll bed that in. All right, so we'll just put a little furnace cement on there. We're just going to gush this down and get it lined up.